Hello everybody, it's Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's a little late in the evening, but I'm still up and I wanted to, I was going through my fabric because I'm picking out stuff for um, this butterfly journal. And I've got all this here and this was like a big boo-boo I made a long time ago. It came out orange, it was supposed to be like a, a yellow ochre or something rusty and it just, it's like bright orange. Um, these were less of this dye, so it's like a peachy color, which is blah. And then here, this is just something, yeah, this is a piece of white fabric that I coffee dyed, um, with a stencil on it. But it's just, yeah, it needs something. And then these are just plain white pieces of bed sheet. Um, I'm pretty sure they're 99% cotton. I say 99% because, you know, the sometimes the threads are not the, the stitching. So, um, what did I do? Oh, here they are. So I pulled out my dies. I have a bunch of spray dies here. Um, these distressings. Okay, so I have a couple of distress oxide sprays. I've got some distress spray stains. Let's get all that out there. Got some other stuff in here, but I'm not using it. It's like a home, it's homemade that, I don't think it's gonna, it's not the, it's not the right colors, is what I'm trying to say. So, I hope you're all doing well, and I'm excited to see, uh, for you to see me get really messy here, so. Let's have at it. I've got a spray bottle. I've got um, these distress inks and oxides. This is my library. This is my collection. Um, so no, I don't have, you know, um, a lot of the colors, but that's okay. Um, I want to show you that you can do a lot with not so much, you know. Um, so, and these I've purchased over time. Like, I didn't buy all these. This one, this was a gift. Um, and this, you know, a lot of these were purchased, you know, months apart. You know, as I could, as I could afford to build my collection. But, okay. So, enough yibber yabber. Let's get to stain and stuff. Here I have a, um, just some sheets of music paper. I have a lot of it. So, I said, uh use that as a, a sort of base, like a drop cloth, and um, maybe we'll get some good results from there. So I'm gonna move some of these and just do like these fabric. I don't know what color I wanna do. I know that my, my journal's bright. Okay, so it's got these rusty colors on it in the front and yellows, similar um, on the back. Sorry about the lighting, it's not the best right now. Um, and then the inside, in that last video you saw, um, you may have watched, we made the cover. And this was the fabric uh, I chose for the inside, which I love. So, you see, it, yeah, it's bright. Um, so yeah, I think I wanna kind of lean towards more colors that will vibe with this sort of coloring like I have a lot of reds and I have purples and um, the golds um, I don't have any gold spray per se I have like a sparkle spray but no gold spray so we'll see we'll see what, what, what we can come up with and just lay these out and I want to try the oxide first because I see a lot of people using them other than you know to edge paper okay so <clears throat> i'm on an experiment and thought you may want to come along um i like this color it's salvage patina so um this is iron this is iron oxide it's distress oxide and it activates with um with water and it's a dye and pigment ink infusion um so like i was watching louisa heinzel do her 
um, vintage ID cards. Like I've watched the video like three times because I want to I want to try her technique. Um, but what she was doing in her technique is stamping on this wet photo paper on the gel plate. Mind you, it's a matte photo paper, not the glossy kind. Um, and she would stamp, use a stamp with oxide, and it's very wet. She sprayed it all down, it's very wet. And then she picks up the stamp, and it's kind of, you know, a little gloopy, very strong. So she takes a cloth and pats it, or a napkin and pats it, lifts it up, and so you're left with just the, the ink. So now it's permanent because you've lifted up the oxidation. But it's a very cool effect. That's not what I'm going to be doing here. I'm just going to try and get these to a different, you know, color and maybe, um, you know, if we don't use them for that, for the journal, we can use them for something else. But let's play around. I'm going to actually, I'm going to spray this just a little bit. Let me do this here so I don't get that paper soaking wet. All right, so, well, I'm gonna get it wet anyway, Eddie, you doofus. Oh, the rain is here. Okay, so, getting a little wet. Let's just uh, stamp along and see what happens. And as you know, I am not a trained artist. I am not a trained anything in these parts. Um, this is all stuff I've picked up over the years um, from experience or watching someone else or, you know, how that goes. And, but I've, I've always had the artistic, you know, vibe. Um, this is just a different way I'm expressing my artistic vibe right now. Um, for years, it was as a um, clothing merchandiser in stores like uh, J. Crew. Um, where else? Uh, Z Gallery. I worked at. Did some stuff there. Uh, so, well, it's Nordstrom. I worked there mainly. I sold men's clothing there. There, like the suits and stuff. But um, at J. Crew. I did a lot of the, um, I did all the windows. Um, also, there was a company, it's called, well, I don't know if, what it's called now, it's always changing names, but it was originally called Structure, and it was the sister store to The Limited. I don't know, one of those. Anyway, I worked for them for years, and they, um, I, I did a lot of the window displays, and, and it was, I learned a lot. It's actually, it was, for the time, it was a very good company. I don't know how it's like now, but I was with them for about eight years. And the reason, I, I don't know if you guys know, but I used to live in Memphis for a couple of years. And the reason I, reason I ended up in Memphis was to... Um, what, there was a long story. My partner and I wanted to move to out of Boston. So we, this is um, Distress, Distress Spray Stain Marine Lagoon. At the time I was working for Structure and I um, talked to some people about moving and um, they said, you know what? We got a spot for you here and you could do really well here. So um, why don't you come down and um, work for us down here. And they paid for everything, meaning, you know, my move. Um, they paid for, they paid for my pet too. I had, um, and at the time I just had the one pet, but they paid to um, make sure I could get an apartment that allowed the cat and, you know, so they were very, they took very good care of me. Um, when I left Memphis, uh, it was with the same company and they moved me again, paid for everything, to um, Atlanta. And I was in Atlanta for a couple of years. So yeah, very good company. Oh boy. Okay, it's got some blue going on there. I don't know what else, my fingers are blue. Let's see, what if we add some of this rustic wilderness? 
Distress Oxide. Let's see. Ooh, that's a strong one. And it really, ooh, wow. Okay. Let's do this something. I like to smoosh it up and see what we can get. Spread that, that color around. Told you we're getting messy here. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Let's see, set that aside for a minute. Let's play with this one here. I'm gonna spray this um, cracked pistachio. It's just a very pale green. Let's see what we can do here. And I know I'm probably doing this wrong or whatever, but you know. It's what I know and it's what I do. Yeah, so maybe that wasn't the best idea just to push the stamp down on there. But see, this is how we learn, right? Now, I'm just thinking if I add more water, how much of that can I make disappear as far as, you know, the harsh lines, but nope. That's some good fabric. That took that stain real well. I mean, I'm not mad about it. All right, we'll set you aside. Actually, I have a blue fingers. I have something over here. What am I trying to say? Mm, a board. I'm just gonna set them on to dry right next to me. Mop some of that up, why not? Now let's see if we can do something with the purple purple color. I have a little purple in here. And I did say orange, but you know, see, that's the thing is I don't have really anything that's orange. So let's see if I can look at that and get this piece up here. And let's see if we can make some orange because I do have amber. Let's see, I have wild honey and fossilized amber. Uh, let's see what we can do. And I've got some abandoned coral, which is a sort of red. So let's see what we can do here. That a little wet. And here, we'll start with the lighter one, which I think it's, yeah, the fossilized amber. Get that a good shake. Ooh, I like that. I like that, yeah. Always remember to wipe the nozzle on these so they don't um, clog up on you. Hmm. I like that. Let me spray a little more. Let's see where it goes. Let's try some. Uh, throw some wild honey on it. This one's a leaky one. Okay. Ooh, I like that grunginess there. Now, this is what I want to do. I just saw the black soot uh, in the iron in the oxide split. So let's let me shake this up and get it nice and mixed. And here are those. Make sure you give it a good whirl. And you can tell if you look at the bottom here, it's still kind of got that the oxide down there, right? You want to give this a good shake, get it all mixed up. Good. And let's drop some of this on here. Plus, when you shake it up nice and, and good, it comes out better. Trust me, I know. Now, I'm a little higher up. I'm like up here. And just kind of slightly squeezing. Now, here, I didn't squeeze so hard. And so I just got more 
stronger drops and this is more of the spray. But that's that's cool. Nice and nice and grungy. Okay, so what I have here are some what they call strippers. These are stencils, mini stencils from um PM Artist Studio. And some of these came in a set and some of them are individual um, or come with another part, but they're all available at pmartistudio.com. Um, so let's let's maybe use this one here. And da -da -da -da, just lay it down on top and then spray through there and see what we can what we can create. And let's start with the wild honey. Actually, no, I'm going to start with this red. The salvaged or abandoned coral. Left all alone in the dark. Hey, not too bad, not too bad. There you go. Very cool. Take the excess and just press it out on there. It was, that's cool. Love it. Love it. And then I think I'm just going to drag this through here. Wait, stop. What? Not. When you grow up most of your life with uh, not a lot of money, you learn how to utilize things to to no end because you had to do and I know a lot of you understand that so I'm not alone <laughs> let's get this bit I didn't do that one here oh that's the fabric right there can you see can you see oh, nice See, you don't even need that much. I think I oversprayed over here, but that looks good. I'm just gonna let that dry. Okay, okie dokie. Now, I'm gonna first, before I wet it this time, I'm just gonna go in um, while the fabric's still dry. And again, I'm just gently pushing down on the nozzle. And it's just getting me a little bit, you know, little bits. So now, there we go. We've got the red. Now, I'm probably not going to get purple, but I can get a variation close, you know, some colors that are in that family. So a little more of that. Let me see here. Let's spray it a little bit. And don't forget once these dry they're gonna dry they're gonna dry lighter. So I'm just dragging this through here. It might look see it's gonna look a little muddy in some parts. That's okay. Set that over to dry. Another paper towel here. Okay, so let's see here. Let's try this one up here. Ooh, tumbleweeds, tumbleweeds. Just gonna switcheroo. Put that there. I'm gonna put you to dry over here. Now these strips, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to obviously get a sort of design or anything on them. So I'm just gonna go loco and just, just start spraying stuff. See what we get. And um, get some of these inks over here too. I have this, I have the blue. I don't know. Let's see what it's going to do to this. And it's not a very strong blue, which I like. So. Let 
It's well, grunging it up. See, it's not very strong glue. I like it. And then let's see what we can add to that. About um, here, we'll use some of this. This is um, peel paint. water and I guess I'm just gonna smoosh it around see that's cool nice grungy look I got rid of the peachy looks kind of camo-y some of that black oxide on there the black soot. I love how that, if you watch, it spreads. Very cool. If you hear any noise, that is uh, my brother and his friends. I think they were still in high school. And they're not. Oh, these crazy kids. Oh, wait, that's kind of cool. Here, let's just move this over and keep going. Maybe bring in the, what do you call this, the Distress Ink in the um, Vintage Photo. I'm gonna spray it first. The last one, I didn't spray that one first, right? No. Look at that. That's some grungy goodness right there. Bring it down here. Add some to this. Okay, see? We're getting somewhere. So we get rid of some of these little threads. I don't mind threads, but sometimes there's just too many. And right now I've got a sitch where there's too many. This is all tangled up. Okay, I'm just gonna rip this off. I think I can, yeah, just cut it. And then uh, maybe a little spray on there. Do the, um, let's do the, Already that color. Let's do the blue. There's a lagoon. Mermaid Lagoon. Kind of like that. Interesting, interesting. All right, I'll just give it a little smoosh. There we go. Set that to dry. All right, for these, oh, we got this one here. Um, here, this one has more reds. I think we're gonna go more red with this one. And we have, what about, hmm. Fossilized amber, let's do all that. Kind of cool, that kind of goes to the cover. I like that, huh? To look old.
Okay, I don't want to mess with that anymore because I really like that coloring. So let me just set you over here. Where are some of these threads? I think I'm just gonna take some of this and mop up some of this stuff. The pages are looking great. Look at that. Super, super duper. I'm gonna kind of just shift them around. Cause they're starting to get a little soaked. So this one, let's say, try some of this Victorian velvet, which is like a, it's like a dark pale pink, if that makes sense. Let me just see here. Like a, a dark rose almost. Very nice. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Wet my fabric. And then I'm going to use this little makeup brush to, or paddle brush, to put in some of this distress ink. This is not an oxide, this is just an ink. But it activates with water, so let's see. Yeah, that's not really showing up, is it? Very strange. Well, wonder if my pad is just starting to dry out. Hmm. I don't know about that, but we keep plugging away. Let's see what other colors we can throw on here. Let's try this. Um, No, I'm gonna go ahead with the fossilized amber on here. See if we can. And that way, it's still in the orange family, rusty, but it, it's not that boring, peachy, weird color. I don't mind a little of the, of the original color showing through me because we may add, I may add more color to this. Just a question of what. Get some color on here. Kind of make like maybe you know sections of color so when it's all spread out it's like you know patchy uh, oh the blue let's try this one here um what's next maybe over here we could do this Wild honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's soak some of this up. So far, I like it. It's kind of cool. So let's uh, get some of these areas that are still white. Hmm. I would have wanted to try this distress oxide in the speckled egg.
water. Get that oxide going. Now these are gonna look really cool, like once it's all dry, and you can really handle it and look at it, that's when it's gonna be awesome. Look at that, that's really cool. Hold it up so you can see it. Love it. And let's do these. Just gonna do a little mopping up with that. And let's see, where do we want to go? You know what? I haven't tried this yet. This is the antique linen um, distress oxide. So maybe let's try this one. Try you again, little dude. Now, I know it's not a very dark color, but I want to see how it reacts. Because, like I said, I just, I was gifted that and I've never used it. So, let's see what we can, what we can get out of it. Maybe first I'll spray, um, da -da 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 -da. here, we'll do the fossilized amber. Interesting, yeah. And then maybe a little more water. You see the oxide starting to come up. Right there. Mm -hmm. Interesting, subtle, but I like it. Mm, I don't want the blue. Maybe I just want to leave that one alone for now. Do a little mopping it. So you just mopping up, and you can get a lot of um, color on there. So maybe on this one we'll do the black, um, black soot oxide. What would happen if I just push with the napkin? What, what would happen? I may not know until it dries, but that's the fun. I don't wanna get too much black over this because I don't want it all to be gray. But you know, we'll put it in some sections here. Nice. Very nice. Okay, I think for now, I'm gonna let this one dry. It's getting a little wet. Um, here, I'm just gonna hang it right here off the camera rig. So let's let me look at and bring over what I've done already. So there's this one, that's, it's, they're still wet. Um, but we got that one, that's a really cool little patch there. And these you can use for all sorts of things. You can use them for trim on your book. You can use them um, as fabric flips. You can use them um, on uh, journal cards on or journal tags too, all kinds of stuff. You can use them as, um, you know, like um, ribbons to hang off um, the spine of the book. So like hang it from here and, you know, have a whole bunch there. Like this one, I do wanna try this, these, this stencil here and see what I can, see what I can do. And I wanna use the oxide ink so let's try the green one. Let's 
seems to be a very strong, powerful one. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, let me see. Let's go ahead and do the rest. Do this last section here. Nice, I love it. Very cool. Okay, so I'll set that to the side. And what I'll probably do is take photos of the fabric once it's dried and then put it at the end of the video. Try that with that one. Um, instead of the green, let's use the vintage photo. I'm just gonna rub this paddle brush on here, get a lot of that green off. And it is a very powerful color. I like that. Okay. I need a stencil though. Um, let's do circles. I like circles. And perhaps this way. Yeah. too bad. It'd be better if the fabric was a little drier, but you know, there's no patience here. Hey, that's not too bad. Let's try it with another color now. Now I do have ink that is just like a regular Ranger ink in blue. So let me try that. I'm just getting another brush here. Cause that one's a little wet. Um, where are you? Here we are. It's a Ranger archival ink and cobalt. Let's try that. Maybe we'll do the circles in the opposite way. Okay. I have a feeling it's going to look pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, that's not too bad. And like I said, it would probably look a lot better if it was, um, the fabric was more dry, but there you have it. And I do have this library green, they call it. This should be interesting. probably won't show up anything because I think these are very similar, but you know, it's worth the experiment. Hey, got something. Not bad. Okay, what else do we got? Anything? You see, these are all pretty. This one's actually more on the dry side. Let's check that out. 
myself for this one. And you see how it's just, it's just very cool. Like it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But I love the, the way that patterned on there. And even on the back, it's like even better. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Should we do circles on here? Or do some more of these? Let's do more of these. I guess crosses, you call them. I don't know. There's a name, I know. It's late. I don't remember. And uh, da -da, what color are we going to use? something dark. Let's try this color here. This is a Monarch, Monarch Orange. Just wipe some of this off. All right, let's get you lined up better. Okay. That's a strong color. I like that. It's like against this, it looks rusty, which is very cool. Which I like. I like. Ooh. Take it easy there, buddy. I get excited, you know? That's cool. It's mixing with that orange. So that'll give us like a nice, probably grayish color. Because when you mix blue and orange, you get gray. You see? Because you see on the on the stencil already it's it's turning gray. Where I'm rubbing the blue in. That's another great thing about experimenting is just you never know what what what's gonna happen, and I think you you're gonna you always get pleasantly surprised. God, I used to experiment in the kitchen when I was younger all the time. My mom it would drive my mom up the wall because I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I don't even think I was a teenager yet, and I was just going there and mix stuff up and make concoctions, but I was inventing something. I was trying something. She was like, oh, you're just making a mess. I was, but, you know, that's what you do when you're a kid. I am really liking that. And I like that it's not coming through. So we got two sides, two designs. That is pretty, pretty good. Just a little more of this in the blue. And I think this other one here is dry. The, um, the one we did with the yellows, that amber and Wild honey, I love, look at how the oxide spread on there. That is very like grungy and awesome. It's messy. And this is the other one we did. This is still pretty wet. I'm not gonna mess with that because it's like with the circle one. I don't, I think we would have gotten better impression if I had just waited for it to dry, but that's not gonna happen right now. This one, it stay pretty dark. I thought it would get a little bit lighter, but you know, it's still wet. 
We got our strips, this awesome green, grungy camo kind of looking color. And it's it's cool because like you the oxide is setting up on top of the fabric. You can kind of feel that. That'll be interesting. We have this one here that I really like because it matched the cover of the book. Oops. Just trying to line them up so you can see them. Um, the one we just did, that's this one. And then this one here. And then these here. That, you know, some of these are gonna definitely get more done to them, but I think that's pretty good for now. I'm gonna get ready for bed. Thank you guys so much for coming along with this this weird late night dying session. Um, you know, hope you learned something. I did. And that's the point, right? Okay, let's get you out of the way here. Thank you guys.